what's up guys in this video i wanted to take a few minutes to talk about an issue that uh, we have in some of our air handlers and what we had to do to resolve them and what we see is an issue with the way the air handler is controlling the economizers in fact once we reach a certain temperature outside the air handler just does not economize at all you can see here that the outdoor air damper command is at zero percent and what ends up happening is that we end up overheating some of the interior spaces of the building just because the air handler will not economize you know we're currently 37 degrees outside our minimum set point for outside air damper is at 35 percent and it is completely ignoring it as you can see uh, you know but if I tell the system that our outside air temperature is actually warmer I want you to notice how the unit reacts then I've taken the outside air temperature out of service uh, overridden it to 50 degrees just to make the air handler think that it's warmer outside and I want you to notice how the system reacts then uh, it'll take it just a moment to swing but you can see right there the outside air dampers have now gone to 100 uh, percent this is a little unusual control wouldn't you say and there's a very specific reason why the unit is doing that and of course with the dampers at 100 percent um, you know the discharge temperature on the cold deck is going to drop and it would cool the space but there are some issues inside the programming inside the FEC itself that are causing this problem and of course with the colder temperatures we cannot leave the outside air temperature uh, overridden to that for obvious reasons uh, you know the unit will trip on freeze protection uh, and but if we do leave that long enough you would see that this discharge temperature on the cold deck would drop down to where it needs to be if we look at our mixed air temperature here we can see that it is dropping since the outdoor air dampers are at hundred percent and the problem with this is instead of the programming looking at the mixed air temperature it is actually looking at the outside air temperature and that is causing a miscalculation in the programming as far as what it needs to be doing with the dampers uh, you can also see here that the uh, discharge air temperature is starting to fall and uh, another problem that this unit has is that it easily trips on freeze protection especially if we uh, make changes to uh, the system to run it basically if we take that outside our temperature out of service uh, just to try to get some economizing going uh, we will end up tripping it on freeze protection so it is clearly not uh, controlling the way that it needs to be now what we have here is I'm commissioned into the controller and we are going to look at the problem now you see that I have uh, some of these control points that are highlighted uh, and just one of the things that you can do that kind of helps you point you in the right direction with your programming is to click on the particular output that you're trying to work on a particular block and just select the show involvement and it will actually highlight every one of the blocks that is related to the control for what you're trying to do so what i'm going to do now i have uh, you know i'm going to make this screen just a little bit bigger uh, here in just a moment but what you can see is my connections i'm going to click on my point and if i show the connection points you can see here down at the bottom you can see it change and that's going to tell us exactly which points are controlling that output now what I'm doing here is I am looking at the particular control block. This is a proportional control block for the outside air dampers. And pay close attention to what we see here. You can see the outside air damper percentage command is at zero. I've released the override on that air, outside air temperature and it's gone back to 37 degrees. The damper control 
is going to be uh, controlled out of this particular block here, uh, the damper control OAD. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to look at some of our connections as far as where it's getting its information. Uh, you'll notice here all of these numbers that are on the input side of this. You can see here the value here of 20 is 0%. Now, where's that coming from? Well, what we will do is then we will simply look through the rest of this logic block and we will find an output for uh, 20 that's going to 20. That's going to indicate what that connection is. So I scroll down just a little bit and you can see here out of this PID block, it's going doing a comparison between a couple of different things. Uh, it's looking at the low limit process. Uh, the low limit set point, that sort of thing going through that PID block, and then it is going through that minimum block, and then into that damper control. And, uh, you know, why is that at zero? If we look here, notice what we're looking at here. Our process variable is connected to our outside air temperature instead of being connected to the mixed air temperature. Uh, you know, I go in here, I can view just a little bit more details about this. This is supposed to be mixed air temperature control. Unfortunately, the point that it is connected to, as I mentioned, is the outside air temperature. So it's continually thinking that the mixed air temperature is, the, uh, is what the outside air temperature is reading. So when we get below um, our set point, those dampers are simply going to go to zero. It thinks that that outside air temperature is extremely cold. Uh, that the mixed air temperature is extremely cold. It wants to warm it up. So it's going to close those outside air dampers completely. Uh, it's just going to ignore that minimum. It says, you know, I'm well below where I need to be and I need to make a change. I really need to, you know, get that mixed air temperature warmed up. So that's what the control is doing. And you can see here inside this PID block, uh, you know, this is what is going to uh, manipulate uh, that value is this PID block. But if it's not getting correct information, it's not going to work correctly. You can see here what we have. We have our low limit process variable. That should be our mixed air temperature. All right. But it is not. Uh, it is actually connected to our outside air temperature. And that is incorrect. So... You know, instead of reading the mixed air temperature, which it should be, it's reading outside air temperature. So you can see here our mixed air temperature is at 71 degrees, clearly not maintaining set point. So what we're going to need to do is to make a correction in this connection right here. So in order to do that, I am going to need to, uh, you know, of course, identify my points as far as what my mixed air temperature is. And you can see here that it is uh, universal input number one. And that is going to be what I need to connect it to. All right, now, and there's also another issue in this program that we will see here momentarily. But when I click the define hardware point assignment, I can see that uh, all of my different points on the controller, uh, universal input one is actually labeled as discharge air temperature, not mixed air temperature, discharge air temperature. Now I do know just from physical inspection that this particular sensor is not a discharge air temp temperature sensor. It is our mixed air temperature sensor. The physical location, I've gone and verified that, so that's two problems that we have in this program that we've got to correct. So, in order to make the necessary changes here, I am going to exit the commissioning mode, and I am going to then uh, go into uh, my configuration mode and make the changes necessary. Of course, whenever you do this, you want to make sure that you save the original program in case something happens and you can always get your unit back up running like it was prior to any changes that you've made so i'm going to save a copy of that and then i'm going to uh, you know save another copy as a revision and now what we're going to do is actually dig in and do a little bit of correcting in this 
This here is our discharge air temp right here. I want to correct this. I want to change that from saying discharge air temperature to mixed air temperature. So I'm going to change the names of it real quick here uh, just for to keep this confusion down for the next time that we end up doing this. You know, if we get in there again, if there's ever any issues, we know what we're actually looking at. So I hit apply. It's going to make that correction there. And now I am going to go back to my previous window. I've got all my logic blocks here. I need to go back into my proportional outside air damper control. Notice here, there is our outside air temperature. I need to make a change here. I need to right click, change connection, just like that. And it's going to give me a pop-up window. Here are all of my choices, the connections that I can make. So what I'm going to do is go down here and now highlight that mixed air temperature where I renamed it. I'm going to hit OK. And now it is going to make that change for me. And there we go. Universal uh, input number one. Uh, it's going to affect that process. And now once I do that, I'm going to save this as a revision one. This is a different file name. Uh, that way you know that there is a difference between this and the original file that you uploaded from the controller. I always do that. And that way you can get your equipment back up and running if something happens, if a change you make causes a major failure. And once I do that, I'm going to download the controller, which is just a standard download process. I simply go through here and I select my device. And once I do that, I hit next. And of course, I simply download the application. Now it's going to take a few minutes for this to download. So I'm just going to skip through on the video and then we will come back. Okay, now that the download has completed, we are now just waiting for the system to come back online in Metasys and see if our changes have made any kind of an impact. Uh, you can see here the points are just now starting to come back in. If you guys uh, have ever done any kind of work, you know how this, go, how this is. I'm just going to reoccupy the air handler and we should notice, uh, it shouldn't take long for us to actually know if the changes we made have a positive effect. And you can see here, this is a graphic of this particular unit. This is our return air temperature. Here is our mixed air temperature, which is labeled correct on the graphic, but was not labeled correctly inside our programming. Uh, that is something that is now corrected. And, uh, you know, there's going to be a whole different function to this unit now. It's going to be working uh, much more in line with the way that it needs to be. And you can see as the unit starts up uh, here before long, we will actually start seeing some changes. Uh, you can see here that uh, the, currently the dampers are closed for outside air. Uh, the return air dampers are at 100%. And, you know, uh, let's see here. Now we are commissioned back into the programming and I want to show you uh, the way that it's performing now. I'm actually going to expand this out to where we can see it a little bit better and inside CCT you can now see the difference in what we are seeing here. You can see that we are reading the mixed air temperature. Uh, you can see there it is uh, what we're showing there showing 77 uh, of course, there's a little bit of overlap here as far as time delay. So what we're reading, we're showing 79. Uh, and there again, 79. It's finally gotten a little more consistent with what we're showing in Madison. There is a little bit of lag in this system. Uh, but now we can see how the system is reacting. You see the minimum block is actually, uh, instead of it showing zero on that one input, it is actually showing 100. So now our damper control block is actually calling for, uh, it's getting an input value of 100 from that. And momentarily, once it shifts 
into uh, correct mode you can see the mode of it right now is in close which uh, if you are familiar with CCT and how the state-based logic works you know that it takes a few minutes for these to sometimes get into the particular mode they need to be in and but once it does shift we're going to see a major change in the output for that okay the block just now went to hold and before long we should see it changing again um, uh, but you can already see though that the outside air damper is at minimum it's going to that 35 percent minimum all right ramp minimum oa and now what it's actually going to start doing is actually going to try to control that uh, mixed air it's actually going to try to bring the discharge air temp down we're still at the 35 percent on the damper as you can see there i'll get back to the text you can see it here it is at 35 percent on our outdoor air damper our minimum set point is at 35 as well and as the unit begins to run uh, it will actually go more uh, above that it's actually going to start trying to bring that cold deck discharge temperature down uh, this of course we do not have any overrides on our outside air you can see that mixed air is at 67 degrees currently and it is uh, or, or it is going to change you're going to notice that change i'm just going to give you just a little bit of time here to kind of watch this system with me uh, the minimum it's actually now going above that minimum uh, because of the cold deck discharge temperature however if that temperature if that mixed air temperature starts going below our minimum set point then it is actually going to start swinging the uh, dampers back closed you can see here is another one of our air handlers and you know this is uh, we've got this same issue with three different units so this is a change that we have had to make on all three of these units you can see here this one here uh, we've already made that change or outside that air damper here is at 59 percent our mixed air temperature is at 54 but what happens if i take that out of service i'm going to take it out of service and i'm going to drop it to 35 i'm going to make it think that it's uh you know that the mixed air temperature is down to 35 uh, wait just a minute let's go 20 let's go even colder drop that down to 20 and then notice what those dampers do it'll take it just a moment but you will notice the change in the uh the dampers as far as what they're at right now it's at 51 percent just keep watching it just for a moment and you will notice the change return air damper went to 100 the outside air damper went to zero see and that is what is ha that was what's happening in that program because of that one point being bound to the wrong part of the logic block instead of looking at that mixed air temperature it was looking at outside air temperature but guys this is just a uh, it's a little bit longer of a video uh, a little bit more advanced in cct again check out my playlists for cct uh, if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below uh, also check out the links down below i have some links to some of the tools that i use in my daily activities uh, the work that i do uh, i really appreciate it uh, i've also got a link to my patreon page for those of you guys who would be interested in help supporting the channel all the affiliate links go towards helping support what we do here it doesn't cost you anything but if you purchase anything through amazon we do get a uh, small commission but anyways guys check out the rest of the video please sure be sure to subscribe and let me hear from you any questions drop those in the comments below and we will see you next time thanks for watching